Hi guys! So today I would like to do a review of this fabulous drug. Okay, so let's start with the cons. Gastrointestinal issues. Um, I find that pretty common with a lot of the crap that they try to give you. And uh, it's sometimes counterproductive because you end up getting like really dehydrated, which makes you more tired when you know you're constantly running to the bathroom. But um, it's not terrible with this, but it's definitely noticeable. Second con is headaches. It gives me headaches, uh, like vague hot head feeling. Feel like my head is hot. And uh, mm, it's kind of a weird feeling. I get it when I wake up now. I get it before I go to bed. I try eating. That seems to help. I think it has to do with raising your blood pressure. That's my guess. I haven't tested it yet. Um, next con was something else. I can't sleep 10 hours on this. You know I love my sleep, guys. But I cannot sleep 10 hours on this. It wakes me up. Like 9 a.m. for some reason. It's like, time to get up, 9 a.m. Um, which I know sounds late probably for you guys, but I work second shift, so that's like not a normal thing for me. And I can't really go to bed early on it either. So it's basically a pill that only lets you sleep eight hours. Um, I'm waiting to crash on that, but I haven't yet. So that's another con. Um, I had one more. It makes me want to punch people in the face. So it makes me a little irritable, a little bit, a little bit, um, a little bit, yeah. But also, like, I want to hug everyone, which is a very strange combination. Uh, <clears throat> now, let's talk about the pros. I have more energy on this, and it's not, it's not like refreshing energy though. It is kind of like, in, let me think, how can I describe this energy? It's kind of like, I push myself to do it, and I do it. I'm not as exhausted as I thought it would be after I push myself to do things. It's not like I have the energy to get up and do it. It's kind of like I, well, usually I push myself to do something and I do it and then I, you know, I rest. Or I do like push myself to do one thing a day and then I rest. Well, I don't need to rest as long on this. I kind of just need to elevate my feet. Oh, that's another con. That was the real con. It makes my feet burn. It's really ridiculous, but you know how um, orthostatic intolerance, it kind of like pulls the blood to your feet. Now, I don't know if I've just never noticed it before, but I highly doubt it because my feet are burning now, and I think I would have noticed that for a few years, you know. Um, it makes your feet burn. It's like, it feels like it, it pulls it pulls it to the bottom of your feet, which it's supposed to do. I mean, if you're orthostatic intolerant, that's technically what it does. And I've been tested for that, and they said that I had it. But I never felt the sensation of blood pooling to my feet for as extended of a period of time as since I was on this. And I wonder if that's because I'm doing more things now. I notice it more. Because before, I was just too tired to even do those things. So now I'm actually on my feet more often. That's probably it. So I guess it doesn't really fix orthostatic intolerance. I would say it more works for, in terms of exercise, in terms of energy, it works for, um, like, post-exertional fatigue. Alright, there it is. Said it. Nailed it. Alright, so, uh, I want to talk about my memory. Because it is improved on this crap. And it's not the best memory. Still. But I've been able to make associations between things. Like songs. I'm like, this song reminds me of another song. And usually my thoughts kind of just stop there. Because they don't go anywhere else. I'm just like, mm, it's not coming. But um, 
since I've been taking this, it's kind of like, mm, reminds me of a song. Bam. Pulled it out from my memory. Got it. And, uh, this stuff did that. Because it's pretty amazing. But also, it kind of makes me feel like crap. It's really weird. It's really weird combo. I'm on day five of it, I think. And, uh, I'm going to keep going and see how much I can, <laughs> I can handle. Until, uh, I'm seeing Dr. Lerner, though. So he might tell me to stop supplements, so then I'll have to stop this. But, um, if you guys haven't tried it yet, I would definitely recommend it. Also, it, as a pro, it, um, I've been dreaming on it. And I don't know if you guys have this issue, I have, like, sleep deficiency. So, I don't really dream. I mean, I know they say everybody dreams, but, like, mm, let's be real. I don't think we're dreaming. <laughs> So, I think this made me dream, which is pretty exciting, and I think when you dream, that's when you develop memory. I think there's a big connection there, but, um, whatever, I'm not a scientist, as I've said before, I'm just a person. Okay, so, I recommend trying this, this is 600. I was thinking about, um, doing every other day on 600, but I would rather do every day on 300, because this already gives me a headache, and it seems like it gives me a headache when I start to come off of it, which is at night and the next morning, so, um, if you can get, like, extended release, maybe 300, I think that would be pretty cool, I've read a lot of reviews, a lot of people like this brand more, I trust this brand, Swanson, I trust them, I mean, I, I don't know how much difference there could be within brands, but, a lot of people have reviewed them and said this is the better brand. So, um, and the cheaper brand, actually, and better. So, this is pretty cool. Also, there's some studies that say this helps with MS. Pretty exciting. Pretty exciting stuff. You hear that? Something with cytokines. C Y T O K I N E S. Don't know what that is. It's all over my. <laughs> All up in here, all over this book, tons of stuff saying chronic fatigue and cytokines and blah blah blah. And uh, this also, if you've ever heard of the methylation theory, that there's a methylation problem with chronic fatigue patients somewhere along the cycle, this helps with that by producing glutathione. Glutathione enhances glutathione in cells. Now, I've done a little more research on this, and they say if you have a mercury issue, be careful because it puts more mercury in your brain. And then there's other people that say it puts less mercury in your brain. Regardless, if you have some sort of mercury problem going on, I would not recommend this because I don't know. I don't really know what it's doing, and apparently I don't think the scientists know what it's doing either. So just be more wary if you have a mercury issue. Um, I do, I, I recommend this to try. Um, it, like, when I say I want to hug people and punch them at the same time, that's kind of how I was before I got sick. <laughs> I barely even remember that, but I remember having more emotions than I have now. Now I'm just kind of like a robot. Um, you know, I've been getting better on the supplements, but you know how it is when you just have a brain fog, you kind of like lose your personality almost and then when they did the spec study um my brain it showed prefrontal cortex like lack of blood to the prefrontal cortex and they kept trying to tell me it was depression and i'm like no sounds like i'm just a sociopath but i'm not and it just it's uh i, I feel like this is putting more blood there and it might be why it gives me a headache who knows i have no freaking idea but this seems to work I haven't crashed hardcore on it yet, although doing this much on it, and by this much I mean shopping, obviously, this is all I do when I have energy, um, it's kind of making me, I'm a little wary about the stuff that I'm doing, but um, it helps to, to actually not crash from the things that you do, the things that you force yourself to do that helps you to not crash. It doesn't exactly give you energy, but it helps you to retain 
retain energy, if that makes sense. I don't know. Guys, just try it and, you know, check for yourself. On Amazon, they sell this bad boy for, I think, like 13 bucks or so. And if you have MS, definitely look into this. It's also pretty helpful. And um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I missed. I don't know. It's not coming to me. You're supposed to give me memory. <laughs> okay. So, good luck. Hi guys, I wanted to add another update on NAC because it's spectacular. Um, let's see. I know I literally just reviewed the first five days, but I wanted to tell you that after five days it started making me warmer. And this is a huge improvement. This is the only thing that's ever worked for me. Copper worked temporarily. This works permanently. It just works enough to take the edge off and, um, I don't know. It's pretty amazing. I'm wearing all my nice clothes now that I've been saving for when I got warmer. Um, went out, bought some dresses. So anyway, um, I did some research on it. I thought it was just for fatigue, which it didn't really help with too much. A little bit, but not, you know, nothing spectacular. And, um, but after I got warmer, I started doing research on, like, does this why is this making me warmer? And it, I saw some studies that say it works with peripheral neuropathy, which I've never been tested for, but I didn't really feel the need to get tested for it because I didn't want to be on the meds that they would give me anyway if I did show positive for that. Um, the reason I think it works for me is because I'm missing cysteine. I'm missing this amino acid. So, um, Missing a lot of amino acids, which you guys probably are too, if you have chronic fatigue. So uh, this is pretty important, I guess, for your neural pathways. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it definitely makes me warmer. If you guys have extreme cold intolerance, I highly recommend this. It's not like it makes me a hundred times warmer, but it definitely takes the edge off. I'm able to sit in restaurants now with just a few layers on as opposed to like an obnoxious amount of layers on and still being cold. Uh, this is pretty, pretty fantastic. But another update on after day five, it really tore my stomach up, like tore it up. It's, it's like makes me sick kind of if I take it without food. So I take it in the middle of the day now, and I take it with food. I make sure I take it with food. Also, if you guys are taking glutamine, DMEA, DMAE, or what's my other fabulous acetyl-L-carnitine, I wanted you to know I was taking all of these, um, testing it out, and then. I, what I did was a, a supplement cleanse. It sounds crazy, but, um, sometimes I forget how tired I am, like, as baseline. And I stopped taking all of this, and I got less tired. So I think some of, something, I think it might be this, the glutamine mixed with NAC. I think it might have been doing worse, but I definitely wanted to keep taking the NAC because it was making me warmer. So I stopped taking everything except the brain ones because these, these don't affect um, my fatigue and the magnesium. Oh, also the multi. Yeah, so, you know, if you've seen my memory and concentration video, I was taking choline and the fatty acids. And I do take a multi. Um, this is the one without the choline, without the magnesium. But again, I, I supplement that with the magnesium. Um, so anyway, that's just a quick update. I already did a video on that. But those are all the things that I take anyway that I know don't cause fatigue. So these were the only ones that I added to the mix. And after a while, I started getting more tired. So um, when I did my supplement cleanse, I already knocked these out and I started getting less tired. So, um, although they might work for you initially, you guys be really careful because sometimes they work initially and they just kind of make you 
like wired, which indirectly screws up your sleep, and then it's a snowball effect, and it might work for a little bit, and then it ends up making you more tired, but you're already tired all the time, so it's hard to tell the difference. Um, yeah, so once I eliminated that, I became less tired, so for now, I'm taking those three out of my regimen, and just taking this at night. Also, um, Dr. Lerner put me on doxycycline, so for Lyme, but I'll do another video on that later. Okay.